Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Today I'm cleaning and decluttering my kitchen cabinets. I don't think I've ever done this since I moved in my home, which was about four years ago. So this will be interesting on how much stuff I actually get rid of. So I'm just gonna jump right into this. First, I'm going to start on my upper cabinets. The one that I'm working on now is where I keep my plastic ware, which is very unorganized. Once I remove everything, I'm gonna wipe down all the shelves with my Method All Purpose Cleaner in the scent grapefruit. Then I'm gonna move to the drawer right below that just because that's where I keep all the lids to my plastic wear. And again, once I remove everything in the drawer, I'm just gonna give it a good wipe down. Now I'm gonna go through the bowls and the lids to make sure everything has a match. And if it doesn't, I'm just gonna set it to the side to get rid of it. And once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna put everything back in its place. My next cabinet is where I keep my bowls and plates. This one isn't that bad, so basically I'm just gonna straighten it up and wipe it down real good. I'm not getting rid of a whole lot in this cabinet, just a couple of plastic kid plates because I just bought some new ones and I need to get rid of those old ones. Next up is my super awful cabinet that I cannot wait to clean out. I don't know where all these cups came from or why I have so many and I don't even know how this mess happened, but I'm about to fix it right now. I'm gonna remove all of it and wipe down the shelves and then go through each cup and decide whether I want to keep it or toss it. And here's the after. There are still a lot of cups, I know, but it does look so much better. Next, I am moving to the cabinet next to my stove where I keep all of my measuring cups and strainers and just some small kitchen appliances. This is another one that's not that bad, so I'm just gonna straighten it up a bit and wipe it out. Now I'm gonna go through this disaster. This is my medicine cabinet that has gotten completely out of hand. Once I remove everything and wipe down my shelves, I'm just gonna go through all of it and throw away the empty bottles and boxes and try to consolidate multiple of the same medicines into one if I can and also just toss out anything that has expired already. And when I'm done with that, I'm just gonna sort through the remaining medicine into specific groups and just organize them into small bins. I 
bought these small storage bins from TJ Maxx for around four to seven dollars each. It all depends on the size. And this is how I organized everything. I have a bin for band-aids and ointments, those sorts of things. One for dog medicine, one for cold and flu medicines, one personally for me and one for my husband. I do need to get one more bin to put pain medicine in like Advil, etc., and that sort of thing. But I just love how it turned out and it's gonna be so much better now just to pull out a bin and just grab what I need instead of searching through all that mess. Now that my upper cabinets are done, I'm going to move to the lower ones. This is just my random cabinet that I really put anything in. It doesn't really have a purpose. There are a few plastic containers and a pitcher that I do need to move to my upper cabinet, but other than that, I got rid of everything else freeing up the entire space. Next, I am working on my bakeware cabinet. I use all of my casserole dishes, so I won't be getting rid of any of those. Instead, I'm just gonna wipe down the shelves and straighten up everything. I'm going to group all the dishes together according to their size and their type, but I did get rid of a few covers for the dishes that I never use. I'm now going to move on to my spice cabinet. Believe it or not, we do use all of these spices and I know it's a lot, but I'm not going to get rid of a lot of those, but mainly just the ones that have dried up, the ones that have expired and ones that we don't really like and use a lot. Some of them have spilled onto the shelf, so I'm going to make sure I wipe that up really good before I put everything back. You can take us out. Your dogs won't hold us down because we're going to There's not really any organization that I follow here. I just put most of my ones that I use all the time up towards the front and the others in the back. One day, if I find the perfect spice organizer to put somewhere, I will probably move them, but for now, I'm just gonna stick with this because it works just fine. These two cabinets next to my stove, I don't really use because they're really small. Um, I do keep my small George Foreman grill in one of them, so I'm just gonna wipe these out. This next cabinet is for my big pots and cookie sheets and baking pans, that sort of thing. I know most people use their oven drawer if they have one for storing all of that, but I just like to use my cabinet instead because my oven drawer gets so dirty from food crumbs and dust, and I just don't want that all over my pans. And there's nothing really bad here, it just needs a little straightening up, and the same goes for the next four cabinets that I'm gonna clean. Gonna keep on running, grab the fun and live in life. Be there. 
I'm picking up the speed. Cause you will always be there. Cause you will always be the one to hold me. You will always be the one who knows me. You will always be, come on, let me closer to your. Now that I'm done with the cabinets, the drawers are next on my list, and the rest of this is pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna follow the same process that I have been through the rest of my cabinets. I'll be enough, be enough for you Cause you make me feel like Yeah, you make me feel like I said you make me feel like Yeah, you make me feel like. I know, I know you will always be the I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason Why I should ever let you go mm. I don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up Without Sometimes I forget to breathe I'm looking in your eyes Wish you could see the things I see so I wanted to pop back on here and let you know where I got all of my utensil drawer organizers because I know I'm going to get questions about it. They all came from TJ Maxx and Marshalls and the ones I have run around 5 to $10. It really all depends on what size, type, and style you get. Without you, baby, without And here's everything I decided to get rid of. There are some casserole dishes and a pot set to the side here that are not mine and I just need to return them to my mom and my friends. But other than that, it feels so good to get rid of all this stuff that I don't need. So to clean the outside of my cabinets, I will be using Miss Meyer's Multi-Surface Concentrate Cleaner in the scent Geranium. And I like to use a bucket of warm water when I do this so I can constantly clean my rag off when it gets dirty, just so I can avoid dirtying up so many rags. If 
you're wondering why I am in different clothes, it is because it's the next day. It was getting really late the night before and I needed to go to bed so I could go to work in the morning. But after work, when I got home, I just finished where I left off. Until my lungs give out your beautiful Around my microwave area, it can tend to get a little sticky from cooking foods over time and my regular multi-surface cleaner that I'm using doesn't really cut through that grime. So I am going to use a little bit of Method Heavy Duty Degreaser Cleaner in those areas and it just comes right off. Until my lungs give out your beautiful Wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night, all night I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful You are the one that I will call when I'm drunk You are the one that I just need to feel love You saved me from the So there was actually a really bad thunderstorm with a really bad lightning while I was recording this video and my little dog was scared to death So if you're wondering why she's in my lap crawling all over me, that is why She always wants her mommy to hold her when she's scared and I think that is just so sweet I got you stuck in my memory Some say that hearts come first But they've never known what it's like to be In love at 20 years old We kiss in the rain till we catch a cold Some say that love don't hurt But I want you back, back Cause I got you stuck in my memory And every wall is getting close And I don't know what to do Can't you save my soul? Can't you save my soul? Can't you make
meant my heart Caught you meant my heart Want you back, back, want you back, back, back Yeah I want you back, back, want you back, back, back Some say that love don't hurt But I've got you stuck in my memory Some say that hearts come first But they've never known what it's like to be So if you had noticed, I did not clean the cabinet underneath my sink where I keep all of my cleaning supplies because I'm going to do a separate video on that. It is a complete disaster and a project of its own so I'm just going to do that another day. But I did find some really cute Pinterest ideas to try out for organization so I can't wait to share that with y'all. Just make sure to be on the lookout for that video. Lastly, I'm going to use my Miss Myers Multi Surface Cleaner in the scent Bluebell, which is one of my favorite scents, to wipe down my counters. Stop looking at you, you're like a firefly. Guide me out of the woods now. Oh, I think I lost my way, but got you to help me back. Tell me what I should do now. Glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark, I feel it in my heart. And that's it for my kitchen declutter. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already a part of my channel. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this. And as always, I will see y'all soon. Bye.